Mr. Beast allegations are worse than I'm ever. I'm not gonna lie. I lost the plot. I lost the plot. There have been so many videos that dropped about him, and like now I'm confused, and I kind of stopped reacting to it. But this did just pop up on my stuff. Not cursing. Um, I don't understand what's going on with the Mr. Beast stuff anymore. I, it's, it's it's too much. It's too much. It's too much information. There's there's one. There's that one channel that dropped more Pegasus. He dropped like 14 videos. Not watching 14 videos. Not watching 14 videos. So I'm hoping that this video does a good job of explaining, like you know, from the beginning. But uh, if not, ah, sheesh. You know. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. What's up, yo, yo? I didn't know you streamed. That's crazy. We've been streaming every day for months. Welcome to the gang, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't need it. I, oh, I missed it. Need I tried to time it. I tried to time it. I missed it. Well, guys, I'm a liar. In my last video talking about this whole Mr. Beast fiasco, I promised that that video would be the last time I talked about all of... Yeah, then you saw that chat. I'm playing. ...of this Mr. Beast nonsense that's been going on. And I meant that until yesterday happened. Yesterday what on Twitter, a bomb was dropped in the form of a tweet by a former Mr. Beast employee that makes every single thing we've talked about... Yes, Delaware is my brother. Yes, he's an RSO. I don't know what that means. When he was 21, a, a real, uh, uh, is that a, uh, you know, okay, I think I know what RSO means. When he was 21, a 16-year-old girl accused him and others of SA when she was 11. God! Delaware took a plea deal. That's why there was no jail time, but he still had to register. Is that the Viking? Is that, yeah, that's the Viking. About thus far, infinitely worse. Now, if you're not caught up on this whole Mr. Beast situation, at this point, there is Who's honestly- Delaware? I have no clue who Delaware is, and I have no clue how that is related to Mr. Beast, but we gonna find out. Need just too much to go through for a simple recap. I normally try and provide context for these videos, but seriously, there's like six or seven weeks, maybe even more, of constant controversy to go through. So if you want to get caught up, I will shamelessly plug my first video that I made on this entire situation, because from this point forward, I'm gonna be working under the assumption that you sort of know what's going on, and you're- um, the only thing I really know is, uh, Chris Ava Tyson and his, um, his whole, you know, stuff with that artist. Delaware was his nickname because he was banned from stepping foot in Delaware because of what he did. Was that an inside joke in his, was that an inside joke in the Mr. Beast videos? No, it wasn't. Don't tell me that was an inside. Don't tell me that was an inside joke. Don't tell me that was... <laughs> no okay that's bad okay that's bad that's at least bad. somewhat familiar that's with bad. the very long list that's, of bad. that's bad 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 that's oh oh that's bad that boy prodigy was good boy. that mr beast and his team are facing because the situation we're going to be talking about today while it still sounds pretty damn bad on its own is so much worse when you have the full story that i almost couldn't believe this when i first heard it Dude crying on my screen. But before we get to this tweet, we have to talk about why this tweet was made in the first place. A lot of you guys will probably remember the YouTuber Dogpack404. Bro, oh my god, I tried to react to this off stream, but it was just, it was, bro, it was just too much, bro. It was just too much, bro. Oh my god. He's one of the guys who blew the roof off this whole Mr. B situation in the first place. Good watch, though. I did watch it by myself. I just couldn't react to it. Place with the video that he made accusing King. DKA with the 166 bits, I appreciate you. Mr. Beast of exploiting his audience, faking videos, running illegal lotteries, and a whole lot of other not so good things. And two days ago, he came back with another video titled, I worked for Mr. Beast, he's a sociopath. Now, in this video, he interviews a former Mr. Beast employee named Jake Weddle, who has quite a lot to say about how things okay. are done on the Mr. Beast YouTube channel. Now, we're awesome. only going to be looking at a very small portion of this video, just a few minutes, but I would recommend that you give this full video a watch because it's pretty eye-opening and it confirms a lot of things that a lot of people have been thinking for quite some time. One of the talk most important things they talk about, I think, is that Jake was supposed to be a part of a video where he attempted to spend 100 days in in solitary confinement and it went terribly he was basically tortured and it was just an awful situation that mr beast went on to recreate multiple times throughout this year i've made a couple videos talking about those kinds of videos where he's putting people in solitary 
confinement, and I talked about how weird and immoral I thought those were, and nobody took me seriously. Okay, that's kind of an exaggeration, but the fact that he's been able to make so many videos like that since... He did it to himself though yeah I, I need to um i need to keep getting context i'm still not with very little pushback is kind of insane but that's just one aspect of what jake talks about like i said i would really recommend giving the video a watch these first-hand accounts of people who are interacting with mr beast on the daily are pretty intense which i think you'll get an idea of from the bit we're watching today we're gonna be taking a look at the last like five minutes of the interview where dogpack 404 questions jake weddle about if he ever heard of sexual misconduct within the company outside of Ava Chris Tyson and his answer to that is what we're gonna watch now now I'm gonna let the clip play out in full because I feel like talking about this clip without showing you guys the tweet that followed it would kind of be pointless because the tweet we're gonna be looking at makes this clip go from somebody saying something that looks really bad but who knows what's the actual story behind it yeah. to this clip being something that might genuinely have the potential to ruin the Mr. Beast channel which is something that previously I really didn't think was possible the clip is is about two minutes long, and here it is. Uh, outside of it, Chris Tyson, did you really send me or hear about any sexual misconduct at the company? I've heard rumors. I can't confirm or deny anything. I don't have any tangible evidence, but I've heard stuff that I, I if it could be investigated, that'd be great. But it's like water cooler talk. But I've heard things, yes, of course. I heard, you know, people have been let go for sexually assaulting some very young people. Right. The idea that Jimmy didn't know or that Jimmy was covering stuff up. He didn't want stuff to come out. You know, he's very careful mm -hmm. about his image. You know, the tangible proof that he knew but covered it up. You know, how do you prove that, you know? Yeah, like, I can't fault him for not knowing. But, because, like, you don't control what the people in your camp do. However, though. If you have a camp and one of your one of your people does some stuff and you cover it up, that's bad, bro. That's bad, bro. That's bad, bro. Well, there was a known sex offender, registered sex offender, convicted sex offender on the registry and everything. What's being blurred out? Who worked there. And like you can, you know. Someone pees in public, you're on the registry, you know, you, you get it. You can still have a job after you're on the, that's not one, that's one thing. You know, you go to prison, you get rehabilitated, that's one thing. You know, like if you do your time, that's fine. I, I think we should be read the rehabilitation in this country. But that guy, from what I hear, I, I can't uh -huh. confirm or deny, from what I hear, he's on the registry for doing some not great stuff to some underage people. <laughs> I knew that. He's working at a channel that has underage people on and around and is targeted to underage people. Okay, but did he, did, did, did Mr. Beast cover it up? That's my question. And they covered up the fact that not only did he work there, but he was like the manager when it all started. And you know that he knew and because he'll be in videos. He'll be in thumbnails. He's, Which he's one around. is it? And whenever he, he, he is, he's wearing a mask. Why would you wear a mask? Why would you conceal your face? It's like, you, what, what are you concealing? Uh, feeling that you are a registered sex offender and that your face could be looked up on a thing? How much more can you literally cover up a sex offender with a physical mask? Like, do I have to, is, how, is it more on the nose? Or <laughs> I, I don't know why they let him go because there's, there's, rumors back and forth you know i feel like mr beast is too big to fall but the saying does go all things that go up must come down that's just me yeah i mean all this stuff looks bad for mr beast of course and him covering it up is pretty slimy if that is what he did however he still he himself hasn't done anything at least to my knowledge because like i'm bro bro it's like forty thousand videos on this I'm, I'm not watching all those videos i'm not tapped in enough so i personally don't think 
Mr. Beast himself is going to get canceled. I, I don't think so. At least, like, I haven't finished the video. So I don't know why they let him go, but he didn't leave at one point. Okay, so this is what caused me to break my promise on not making any more Mr. Beast videos because holy fucking shit, this is insane. From just this clip alone, this looks absolutely terrible. You've got an RSO right. working at a YouTube channel that not only targets children, Registered blank offender. That's what RSO means. Okay, okay, okay. RSO, RSO. Got it. As their audience, but also includes children in a lot of their videos. An RSO who is on the registry, not for some sort of victimless crime like this guy mentioned, like peeing in public or something, but for something that involved an individual between the ages of 1 and 11. Couple that with the fact that he's wearing a mask in the video they were showing, yeah, that's and tough. nobody else is. There's really only so many reasonable conclusions you can come to. Now, once this video went live, it did not take people a very long time to find out this guy's real name and confirm that he is in fact on the registry. Bro, the internet works so fast, bro. For a crime with a victim aged 1 to 11. Screenshots of his registry info are all over Twitter. I'm not going to show that because YouTube will probably not like that. But why? Why would they not like that though? Like, bro, you Am I gonna talk? Am I gonna talk trash about YouTube? Cause I don't, uh, bro. I made a reaction to a video about um, a certain at bald African American, a certain f a bigger, heavier set, cupcake enjoying individual. I made a video about him. I got a strike. They gave me a strike. I have well, a warning, but if I didn't have a warning, it would have been a strike. I have ne in my seven, 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. In my seven years of doing YouTube, I have never gotten a strike. And I get a strike for cover, bro. They said I got a strike for bullying him. My fault for roasting such an upstanding citizen, bro. My fault, bro. I'll never talk about him again. So the fact that you can get in trouble for showing an RSO's page is crazy to me, bro. That's crazy to me, bro. But pretty much everything that this guy said That's has insane. been confirmed to be true. Not only by random people on Twitter, but also by a tweet made by the RSO's brother-in-law, Jake the Viking, another former Mr. Beast employee. Here's what it reads. Here's the truth. Yes, Delaware is my brother-in-law. I didn't include this in the clip, but the nickname of the RSO is Delaware. That's in... That, that's crazy. Uh, yes, he is an RSO. When he was 21, a 16-year-old girl accused him and others of sexual assault when she was 11. Delaware took a plea deal. That's why there was no jail time, but he still had to register. His nickname isn't Delaware because he can't go back to Delaware. He's from Delaware. Oh. This is another part of the clip. Never mind, never mind. That I did not include, but Jake Weddle said he heard rumors that the guy's nickname was Delaware because he wasn't allowed to go back to Delaware. See, and this is what I'm saying with this whole Mr. Beast stuff. Like... <sighs> It's so much he said, she said stuff, bro. I need, like, definitive. Like, the only thing that is definitive is the fact that Chris Ava Tyson is a weirdo. That's the only thing that's definitive. At least, at least from my understanding. I have not watched all the millions of videos on it. So, uh, I've only watched videos on the Chris Ava Tyson stuff. That was the dumbest thing I've ever heard. He's been back several times. He was hired before I was and was actually the reason I got hired at Mr. Beast. Before being hired, Delaware sat down with Jimmy and Sue, Jimmy's mom, and explained to them everything. So yes, Jimmy knew. But again, this incident happened in 2010. Delaware was hired in 2017 slash 2018. Delaware was also let go from the company before I was. Delaware was supposed to be a behind the scenes manager, but in a couple of videos, he was asked to partake because we needed people. He was reluctant, especially in the straight jacket because of his charges, and that's why he wore the mask. Delaware's charges are set to be dropped this fall. Delaware has been nothing but a good person, an amazing husband to my sister, and the best father to my two nieces that I could ever- You better than me. You better than me. You better than me. You better than me. I don't give a- f I almost cursed. I do not care if you gave your life to Jesus Christ. And let me not do that. I don't care if you became a nun. If you have- if you are an RSO- and the the victim was 11 you are not marrying my sister bro i don't care i do not care that's you a better man than me
You are a better man than me, bro. They ask for. They want no part in this and want to just live their lives away from the limelight. I understand why anyone would be upset and frustrated over these allegations, and I do not blame them. Hurting kids in any way is completely unacceptable. But in the case of Delaware, I firmly believe he did nothing wrong and look forward to the... See, I need... That's crazy. I need the context. I need context. I need context. Because to think he did nothing wrong... I can't like speak on it. I don't know what happened, but like from from my perspective being like, yeah, he's an RSO and I think he did nothing wrong. That's crazy, but I don't have the context. So I really can't. That's what's annoying about these Mr. Beast videos, bro. None of us have context. Like none of us have context. So like, I, I, <sighs> the day these charges are dropped. Thank you. Okay, there's a lot of shit to unpack here. First, please do. And I think the most important thing to come out of this is that Mr. Beast has no way to say he did not know about this. Apparently, even the man's mom knew. Now, this is a complex and delicate situation because can people change? Yes. And Mr. For Beast sure. is his own person. If he ran a different kind of company that did not directly involve children and he wanted to give a guy a chance at turning his life around, you do you, Mr. Beast. I'm Fair. not your daddy. Do I support it? In this case, no, I don't. But you do you. However, you don't do you, and you don't do this when you have a YouTube channel that interacts with and targets children. This is unacceptable. There's no way, there's no circumstance where this is okay. You cannot hire a registered sex offender when this is your line of work. Somebody somewhere fucks up the background check, something isn't found, you find out later and then you fire them. That's one thing. But knowing this and deciding to hire them anyways, I mean, you've got to be fucking insane. Now, look, I'm not trying to speculate okay. here, but I'm going to. Obviously, nothing I'm saying here can be proven. But when you start to put these pieces together and you really look at it with all the context we've got, you really start to wonder what the fuck is going on with this group of people. You've got the Ava Chris Tyson shit. We already talked about how Talk weird it was for these guys to be filming in a house where those posters were visible with nobody saying anything. You've got this super inappropriate and weird discord conversations coming out and now we've got I don't know anything about that. This? I mean, at some point, things stop being coincidences, and you've got to wonder, what's with the concentration of this kind of person making it to the higher levels of the Mr. Beast company? Now look, this could just be a case of survivorship bias. Mr. Beast works with so many people that it's sort of unlike- Right, right. I mean, his team is so vast. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, per cap, like, you would think with all these videos that everyone in his camp is weird, but per capita, it's not because, like, you know, he has hundreds of maybe even, I don't want to say thousands, I, I, don't, I don't know. But he has like hundreds of associates and employees. Likely for no bad eggs to come through is what I Tight. would say if there wasn't what appears to be evidence that Mr. Beast knew about right. all of this while these people were working for him. Look, it's one thing to hire a person and then find out they're a not so good person. It's a different thing to employ them through that. Look, I'm not trying to speak for anybody at the Mr. Beast company or speak for their morals, but if I was working on a project and somebody came up to me and said, hey, this new guy, yeah, he's on the registry for doing something to an 11 year old we can't use his real name and we have to hide his face i would have said yeah putting a mask on his face is crazy bro i ain't gonna lie bro at that point dog just hit hit fiverr and get you an actor bro why would you do that why would you do that that's crazy that's crazy Oh, okay, go fuck yourself. I'm not gonna be a part of that. So you really yeah. gotta start wondering what is the work environment like on these sets where everyone was like, yeah, okay, that's fine. We can hide this guy's identity because if people found out who he really is, we'd be in some real deep shit. Like, what right. the hell is going on? And look, this guy can say that he's a great person, a great husband, an amazing friend, all this shit. I'm not gonna sit here and say that he's lying. This is about Mr. Beast knowing what the situation was was knowing what he does maybe i'm immature maybe i'm immature maybe i'm immature but i'm not gonna lie i'm not letting no rso marry my sister bro i don't care i don't care the fact that that's your past i i like that's that's your dad lord you your dad lord your dad lord is messing with an 11 year old even if you didn't do it yourself your dad lord is you registering that's crazy that's insane. Mm -mm. 
Nope, no sister of mine. No sister of mine for a line of work in deciding this guy is a good fit anyways. That's unacceptable. This is a step beyond faking your videos or doing unfair giveaways. This is some real devious shit. It would be one thing if Mr. Beast just hired the Only got a minute, yo-yo, I love you and you look like a kangaroo. That was your first chat. Love you too, you dickhead. The guy and he stayed behind the scenes. Still bad in my opinion, but it would be objectively better than putting him in videos where you give him a fake name and you cover up his identity because you knew what you were doing. Dick is not a curse word. Dick is not a curse word. Nope, nope, nope. It was wrong. It makes me want to put all my money into shovels because this hole seems to be getting exponentially bigger for the Mr. Beast team. Well, guys, what do you think? Are people like me overreacting? Was this just Mr. Beast trying to do some good? Because I can't believe that's the case. Putting a mask on him is crazy. Man, it's so much, it's so much information going around. It's all clustered. It's not combined. Like, to understand it, you gotta watch 17,000 different videos. It's like, ah, it's just too much. It's just too much. So, I really don't know how to think. But, it's not looking good for bro. It's, I'll say that much. I'll say that much. But, hey, man, if y'all like my reaction, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.